All right, so this is a presentation that I just created using Perplexity Labs. And as you can see, I can navigate around the page. I can show this presentation to my audience. But the question is, can I download or export this content as a PBTX document? Well, unfortunately, there is no option in Perplexity Labs right now that allows you to download the content as a PPTX document. It is not quite possible, although there are some rumors telling us that they might be adding the option to download the Perplexity Labs document as a PPTX format. But uh, that's still a plan. We don't know how long until we see that in the Perplexity website. However, there are some alternatives that you can try to download or to export the content from Perplexity Labs as a PBTX document. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So basically, there are two methods that you can try. The first method is quite simple, although it's not my favorite, but at least it is simple. What you need to do is that you have to go to Chrome Web Store and then search for a Chrome extension called One Screenshot. So basically, we want to take a screenshot of the, the uh, extension slide and then you, we can save that to our computer and then you can put that screenshot into the powerpoint software so let me click add to chrome add extension and just wait for it now i do recommend to click this and then pin the extension so it will be a lot easier to access now you can go back to the Perplex, uh, perplexity labs powerpoint sorry uh, presentation just refresh the page uh, it is not in the powerpoint format yet so here you can basically just click this extension icon click take a screenshot and that picture uh, basically you can put the picture into powerpoint and you can turn it into a presentation now uh, again it is not my favorite because it is basically a picture and you cannot edit the text it's just there there's almost nothing you can change about the picture and also you have to do it every single time for every single slide on the presentation it is not quite effective especially if you have a lot of slides so i do not recommend using this method especially if you want to edit the text or if you want to uh, make a presentation with lots of slides instead i do recommend using the second method so here is one example that i created using the second method it is not quite the same because we are basically recreating the presentation again using a different tool but don't worry that tool is completely free and i'm going to provide the link in the video description so the tool in question is manus ai so this is one example uh actually this is another presentation that i created on a different topic and basically uh you can go to manus.im and then you can you know create a free account and you can upload a document and also you can click create and enable slides and then you can send a message to Manus AI and it will create a presentation based on a document. Oh, by the way, this document is based on this Perplexity Labs. So you just need to click this button and then click export as PDF, markdown or DOCX, it's up to you, but I do recommend using PDF. And then you can upload that to Manus AI and then just let it to turn that into a PowerPoint presentation. And after that, after it is done, you will be able to download the content, click this button and then select PPTX. So uh, this is the result. Uh, it is in the PPTX format. And of course, you can always edit the text. You can change the position of the image, etc. So it is much better, although the presentation doesn't look quite the same as the one from Perplexity Labs. But at least the content is the same. And also, you can use another alternative called GenSpark. Uh, it also has a feature to turn a document into a presentation. Just navigate to GenSpark.ai. And again, I'm going to leave the link in the video description. And then you can click AI Slides. And, you know, just click this icon and then you can select the document. And you can tell AI to create a presentation based on a document. And the process will be the same. There's going to be a download button somewhere up here. And then you can download that as a PPDX document. So... That's basically how you can turn a Perplexity Labs presentation or document or any Perplexity content into a PBTX document. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.